simple looking threads, just roots. By marking a living root with dots, we can show that the growth, however rapid it may be, all takes place in a short section just behind the tip. The root tip is one of the most marvelous structures in the whole vegetable kingdom. It acts like a brain and upon it depends the fate of the whole plant. The plant in return takes special care of the root tip. From worn out cells of the tip, a jelly-like covering is gradually made. Jelly covering is now complete. Here we have gritty soil very much magnified. Notice how the covering protects the root tip as it passes through. You can almost watch the root tip thinking as it feels ahead and advising the root which way to go. In an empty space, its advice is evidently, feel for something. In bright light, which is injurious, it says, turn away. If placed artificially in a horizontal position, the root tip signals turn down. And if the root grows into the air, which is very harmful, the root commands, go back. Stones in the soil are quite harmless, and the roots glide over and round them. Notice how the tip senses copper in a cartridge case and guides the root away from the poison. Repeat the experiment with a thinking tip cut off. but the root can replace its lost tip and stops its downward growth within one hundredth of an inch of death. When crowded together, seedlings grow straight downwards so as not to collide with each other. This forbearance makes such institutions as meadows possible. And now that they are obliged to put out side roots, they take care to get in one another's way as little as possible. However, two root tips meet face to face. They are remarkably polite to each other. There is no vulgar pushing. The part of the root that has ceased to grow in length develops side shoots.
can watch the process under the microscope. As soon as the root ceases to grow, it develops root hairs. Within these root hairs, there is ceaseless activity. push between the particles of soil to take from it the liquids that the plant needs for food. I'll show you how they do it. Here I have a funnel closed at the bottom with the skin of an egg and filled with colored water to which sugar has been added. Now I fasten this funnel over a beaker and fill it up with pure water. chemical process, the sugar in the water behind the egg skin draws the pure water upwards through the skin. Notice the sugar water in the funnel rising as the pure water is drawn upwards into it. In the same way, the root hairs, whose walls are very like egg skin, develop sugar inside, and by this means, draw in from the soil the liquids needed by the plant. These liquids are mixed with other materials sent down by the leaves, and turned by the root cells into starch grains. On the screen is a starch factory in full swing, but for you to get some idea of its activity, we have speeded up the movement 1,000 times. Here you see the plant's larder. Root cells packed with starch grains, carefully stored away until they are needed for food. A plant such as the carrot can store away so much food in its root that next year, by just drawing on its starch reserves, it can produce an entirely new plant.